enough about me, <laughs> because we actually have a really good show today. One young man lost an enormous amount of weight, but was left with an embarrassing problem that he bravely shared with the entire world. His video went viral. It's been seen by millions. Check it out. My name is Matt Diaz. Um, I've lost 270 pounds in the last six years. I'm really scared to put this up, but I think it's important that I do because because this is who I am. I worked really hard to get here, and I still don't have the body that I want, but I'm trying really hard. I love myself. This is where I am until I can get a surgery to fix it, until I can get something to repair it. This is, this is just what my body looks like, and I can't help it. I'm not going to be ashamed of who I am. Not anymore. Really, really brave. And I do have some really good news. Matt shared that with the world, which I think was powerful, very difficult. But Matt has had his skin removal surgery. And best part, he is joining us on stage a little later for his big reveal. I can't wait for that. Then, after losing hundreds of pounds, a young man is left with massive amounts of sagging skin. Now we're in the operating room as his life is about to change. That's coming up. Our next guest, Matt, struggled with his weight for most of his life. But when he lost nearly half his body weight, he discovered that his weight loss journey wasn't even close to being done. In a doctor's exclusive, this is his story. I realized I was different from other kids fairly young. I found myself getting bullied for being smart. And by the time I was 10 years old, I'd already felt really self-conscious and started to kind of lock myself away. And that's kind of where my weight gain started. By the time I was 16, I was 497 pounds. I tried to get help several times to actually lose the weight, and nothing really seemed to work. There were definitely moments when I didn't want to be around anymore. When I was 16, my mom found this study, and I became one of the youngest people to ever receive the lap band surgery. After the surgery, I felt proud of my own body for the first time. I didn't feel like I had to hide anymore. My whole life started to change. I was able to lose around 270 pounds. But with any big change in weight, there comes excess skin. No amount of toning or working out will be able to fix it. The excess skin just made me feel unattractive in a different way than I did at my heaviest weight. To everyone else, I look thin and I look fine. But here I am plagued with this thing again. And it's been that way for about four years now. Matt was trying to raise money to afford a skin removal surgery. But once his story went viral, he started receiving donations. But when plastic surgeon Dr. Matthew Schulman also heard his story, he knew that he wanted to step in and help. He agreed to meet with Matt and do the surgery. And in a doctor's exclusive, we were in the OR. Everything feels really surreal. It's been such a long time that I've been waiting for this to happen. I'm just prepared and I'm excited and I'm ready to do this. Hey, how are you? <laughs> Good, excited. You excited? The day's finally here, right? Yes. Everything between those two black lines is gonna be gone. Wow. <laughs> the idea of having a waist like that is, <laughs> has been alien to me basically my entire life. Today's surgery is gonna last about six hours. What we're doing is called a lower body lift. We're taking away all that skin in the belly, in the sides, in the back, in the thighs, in the butt. That's really the surgical equivalent of pulling up your pants. Matt, specifically, is a very challenging case because he's a big guy. We're talking about removing probably 40 or 50 pounds of excess skin. I'm making the first incision. So now I'm gonna do some sculpting. Now we're gonna do the front, part two, coming up. So what I'm doing on the front side is, is exactly what we did on the back side. I'm gonna make the incision across the lower part of the abdomen, remove all this skin, and close them up. Now I'm removing some of this extra skin from the front. This is the port that's attached to Matt's gastric band. This is how he lost weight. I'm just freeing up the tissue around the port so that when we pull everything down, we don't disrupt this device. So I'm putting in some stitches now. Once we get this skin together, I'm gonna make an opening for his belly button to come through. I'm making a little mark and gonna cut the opening. I made my opening. I reach inside. I pull out where his belly button is. 
and now I'm going to attach it with stitches. It's pretty cool. We basically cut this guy in half and sewed him back together. All right, this is the skin that we took off, probably about 45 or 50 pounds of skin. I'm very happy. The results are perfect. He's going to love it, and I'm just glad I was able to do this for him. Pretty remarkable. Don't go anywhere. Matt's recovered from having surgery. He is showing off his remarkable results after the break. Coming up, nearly 50 pounds of excess skin has been removed from Matt. Now, the big reveal. By the time I was 16, I was 497 pounds. I became one of the youngest people to ever receive the lap band surgery. I was able to lose around 270 pounds. But with any big change in weight, there comes excess skin. To everyone else, I look thin and I look fine. But here I am plagued with this thing again. What we're doing is called a lower body lift. We're taking away all that skin in the belly, in the sides, in the back. We're talking about removing probably 40 or 50 pounds of excess skin. It's pretty cool. We basically cut this guy in half and sewed him back together. All right, this is the skin that we took off. That was a brief recap of Matt's story that won over the nation. Now we're joined by his doctor, plastic surgeon, Dr. Matthew Shulman. Welcome, Welcome Matt. sir. Thank you. Matt, always good and, to see uh, you. Before we do bring out Matt, um, you know, Dr. Shulman, with someone like Matt who lost all this weight, there are, there are health issues with that skin beyond just obviously the fact that he's carrying around 40, 50 excess pounds of skin. Right. I mean, when you lose that amount of weight, that skin, aside from not looking nice, can cause um, sores and ulcerations and rashes, which can be a real problem. Um, back pain that may be worse after the weight loss than it was before. And then on top of that, think of the psychological component. Here's a guy who lost almost 300 pounds, but he wasn't able to enjoy his weight loss because the skin was still there as a reminder. Are you ready to see Matt? I know I am. Matt, come join us, buddy. Now, before we get to the surgery, how about that hair? <laughs> wow, I love that. How about the whole package? This guy absolutely is styling. <laughs> Thank you so much. Now, oh. now I, I do, Matt, before I ask you how you're feeling, I just want to show a few of these pictures that we have of you before and after Thank because you. pretty remarkable, the difference. But now here you are, post-skin removal surgery. What, what do you feel now? Uh, excited, mostly. Uh, honestly, the past, it, it's been almost two months since the procedure, and the first couple of weeks were really rough. You know, I couldn't really walk around comfortably. I couldn't stand up, couldn't dress at all the way I wanted to, and finally coming out of that, it feels like I've been sort of finally closing the book on this part of my life. And Dr. Shulman, we, we touched on it briefly, but it, this is a big case. I mean, I, I think that's the biggest I've heard of removing, because he's a big guy. Yeah, this is big. I mean, I do these surgeries all the time, but but this is skin from almost 300 pounds of weight loss attached to a person who's six foot five. So this is, this is the biggest case that I've ever done. 43 pounds of skin removed. Yeah. yeah. 43 pounds. This is the first time I've seen like the, foot, the actual footage of my own surgery. So that kind of freaked me out a little bit, but you know. <laughs> and the coolest part is, you know, Matt, I know you were raising funds. Dr. Shulman, can't thank you enough for stepping in and helping Matt out. Now Matt is paying it forward to others, and, and I think that's what this is all about. Yeah, uh, so in total, uh, the GoFundMe raised after taxes were taken away around $51,000 for the procedure. Um, and because of Dr. Shulman, which I can't express my gratitude enough, um, the amount I'm paying is like a fifth of that total after all the procedures are done. So over the past eight months or so, I've been donating a couple thousand dollars to people like me who also needed the procedure. Um, That's what it's all about. Well, Matt, we're very proud of you for all the hard work you put in and Both getting this Matt. result that you deserve. <laughs> Dr. Shulman, thank you so much. Well, my friend, my friend. Stick around.